your free electric bicycle. Ooh, bicycle made of free love bike from 16th of April 2001. This is like a 18 year old bike, man. Oh, bicycle, right? You see here, this is actually a, a DC motor, man. This is connected to my power supply here. And at the moment, it's pumping nothing, man. 3.8 amps. And let's increase this to Ooh, 30 amp down to 4. And it's spinning a little bit faster now. Oh, let's make the video like that. <laughs> so the controller here doesn't work, man. Yeah? So the controller here is just dead, 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 dead. Right? So I just chop the wires here, put an innocent connector, and it's working, eh? The battery in this bike, oh, let me just turn it down, it's a bit too noisy. <laughs> so the battery is actually fitted here, in this spot here, right? Man, this thing is actually a removable battery. Oh, zero volts, of course. Look, the cells here, they're, they're massive and so heavy. It's gotta be the heaviest battery, man. This is actually nickel metal hydride batteries, man. I'm gonna show you, so this is, Zero kilos. I'm gonna put the battery here. Oh my gosh. So just have a look. Oh, so it's six kilos, man. Six kilos just here in a 24 volt little battery. That's pretty high tech back in the day. They had some, you know, like, well, not very high tech, but for that time it was like, wow, electric stuff, man. But it's just like blades, fused, and all those things. And the controller here was all. Potted. You see here like a hard epoxy, it's all very dusty, hit sink, all in one piece. And there was a buzzer here, so maybe if there was any error, it would just be beep, 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 or something. I don't know. <laughs> a little relay here for like near the on and off. So a little close up here in a controller. So this is a 24 volt relay made by Siemens, nice brand. When you turn it on and off, you actually activate or open the circuit here and disengage the controller, right? So the red and black wires here, they're actually the battery wires, right? So, and then here is actually what goes to the motor. It's not very complicated wiring and it's pretty basic. So here it's got actually uh, like a three speed selector. So you see here, program control unit. So speed one, speed two, more power. Ah, pretty basic. Here, I think there was a like e-brake cut off here but it's not working at the moment because we're just using the power supply straight to the motor. And yeah, like e-brake cut off on both sides. Here's just like gear change. So if you change gear here, you actually change. It's a mid drive. The motor is driving the chain, the chain is spinning the wheel. So if I change the gear here, I'm gonna... see, oh, I don't even know if the gear shifting properly. Oh, it is. <laughs> so this is the other side of the bike here. So they got a chain guard here, of course, like a good brands, they always protect this area, they don't want to get sweat and get in trouble. So it's a permanent magnet motor. You see, so we've got all this plastic here, just to keep all the things contained inside. And this is the fuel gauge, man. Look how high tech this thing used to be, man. Oh, three LEDs, empty, full, and that's it. Just a few wires here, and that's all, man. So this is probably an aftermarket Thing. I had in my very first bike and I was a little little boy, man. <laughs> so this is a dyno. So this is a little DC motor. They get the movement from the tire. It spins here and generates DC electricity here, man. So it's just a DC generator. And the faster you spin, the more energy you generate. So yeah, and then you notice that it just, it's just a one wire connection here, right? So you actually see here, it's more visible. So it's just a single wire connection here right so this is the positive the negative is the, the chassis of the bike right so the negative is the ground it's just like a car old school man so, <laughs> so here you see this is a like old school light bulb it's not even LED man and the faster you spin there the brighter you get let's just see here ah 24 volts spinning faster <laughs> Yeah, it is brighter now, man. Oh, the camera actually adjusts the brightness, but it is brighter, man. <laughs> yeah, like it's not very sexy, but back in the days, this thing was like, wow, man. And actually, you have a friend that's coming here. He's got the same bike, but he did it all black and revamped the bike, put a 36 volts controller, 
And he's actually coming and get this motor here for me. I don't need this bike, so he's just gonna transplant this motor to his bike. And then we make another video actually running the bike at 36 volts, right? Mm. And it's gonna sound a little bit more like that, but 50% higher pitch, because it'll be at 36 volts. Ah! So much little power, man! Bike, man. Wait for the next video. We're gonna show this thing in action. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. So this bike is actually going somewhere, man. See you in a few weeks. Oh.